Thank you. Oh, man, you're leaving me. Oh, okay. No, I, you know, thank you, Michael, for, for the kind words. And, um, you know, I, I wish I could say, yeah, I planned this all out. You know, this was, it wasn't. You know, when, when, I, when I graduated, there was a part of me that just wanted to stay in Teen Challenge. I was like, this, is, this feels like home. This, this feels safe. And I remember one day, it was just a few days before I was, I was going to leave Teen Challenge. Um, and I, I talked to Kevin, and maybe he doesn't remember this, but, but I do. Uh, I, I told him, hey, I just kind of want to stay, you know. Can we do something about that? Can I just stay a little bit longer? And, and I remember, I don't remember the exact words that he said, but I remember how I felt when I left that conversation. And I realized that God works outside of Teen Challenge as well, too, you know. And honestly, when I, when I left um, Teen Challenge, I really didn't have much figured out. But I did know this, that I love Jesus, and, and I knew this, I can trust my life into his hands. And so w- one step at a time is really my testimony of just trusting God, that he had my, my footing, that he was directing my steps. And, and I look back at that moment when, when I really just wanted to stay in Teen Challenge and stay home, um, but I realized that God had a different plan for my life. And it wasn't that Teen Challenge is not a good place to stay, but that God is doing work outside of Teen Challenge as well. And many of you are going to experience that work. God is going to call you into different places that you never thought you would be, and he's going to use you for his glory. Like, there was a part of my, how how much time do I have, Mike? I'm good? All right, I have no notes, so. Um, You know, honestly, I was just excited to go wash dishes for Jesus. I got a job. I was washing dishes. I was riding my bike. And I would have never thought in a million years that God would have called me to to lead his people. Or speak his word. I'm terrified of public speaking, right? But but the Lord continued to open up doors that I was like, you know what, Lord? If this is from you, then I'm going to trust you. I've been able to trust the Lord this whole time. And even when... When I fail, even when my faith fails, God never fails. God always proves himself to be faithful because the scriptures tell us that his steadfast love is pursuing us all the time. So even when we fail and we think that God is far from us, the scriptures actually say that he, he's near us. He's approaching. That he goes after the, 90, or the one and, and leaves the 99. And so today, I kind of just want to leave you with this encouragement and kind of just give you an update of of where I am in life. Um, I did come on staff here about uh, three and a half years, or eight years ago. I came on as a pastor about three and a half years ago. And that was just a journey in itself, just a lot of tension to figure out really what my calling was. But I look back at those years and I realize it it was exactly what I needed. So some of the things that we always put time to, like we always think God needs to do it in our time. Remember, his time is a lot different than ours. And something else that the Lord did recently is, you know, growing up, I don't know, maybe you can relate to this, but I never really thought of ever having a family on my own. I never even thought I would make it to a place to ever have a family on my own. But the Lord has given me a family. And I I got married to my beautiful bride, Gabby, who's sitting in the back, and... And the Lord has even blessed us with a child. And so our baby's due in July, and so you guys can be praying for us. And so, but we hope that we will be able to instill faith into his life. And so I just, you know, I I hope that, um, you know, in this moment, I I really don't like to be the spotlight uh, of things. I really like to work behind the scenes. But but I just, I do want to encourage you with this. Don't give up. Like, there, there's, there's things that are going to tempt you to give up in life. But, but I, want, I want you to, to remember this, that in Jude, it says that God is able. He's able. 
What is he able to do? To keep you. He's able to keep you. So even when you're failing, even when you feel far from God, God is the one holding you. And guess what? He's willing to do so, and we see that work in the cross. And so thank you guys for letting me share, and God bless you all. I'll see you guys at the coffee cart.